Tradecraft. What is tradecraft? Basically, it's any ways, means, or tools that spies use to accomplish their mission. Just think 007. In today's scenario, we're going to imagine that you've been captured by enemy forces. Now, in that scenario, you're probably going to be stripped down naked. But let's say that you're not, and you've still got some clothing on you. We're going to look at ways that we can use 550 paracord, or more exactly the strands inside the 550 paracord, as tools. Okay? We're basically going to hide those strands inside of clothing, like hats, shirts, underwear, shoes. Now, if you are captured and stripped down naked, you pretty much only have one asset, literally, and that is the prison wallet. Now, that's for a different video that's on my OnlyFans site. Step one, we're going to need six feet of paracord. Now, I know that about six feet of paracord is my full reach. So I'm going to put it over my chest and stretch back as far as I can. That is six feet of paracord. Come to the end and grab those seven strands of paracord and work them out of the sheath here. And there we go. Now we have seven strands of the inner paracord. Whenever I strip paracord, I always keep this nylon sheath. It comes in real handy for projects. So now here you can see we've got beautiful six feet pieces, seven of them, the inner strands of paracord. And this is what we are going to hide in our clothing. With the leftover paracord, go ahead and hank it up. I've got a video on how to hank, if you don't know. It's really easy. I'll leave the link to the video up here. Right away, you notice that this paracord is bright white, so it's not too stealthy. So to fix that, I simply put it in dirt and start rubbing it in the dirt. Now, there's a lot of debate on how strong 550 paracord really is, okay? I can tell you from experience that it stretches quite a bit. I've been in hammocks where I've used it to tie off, and 30 minutes later, I'm on the ground. Now, what's interesting is, out of these seven, you take one and come to the end, and you can see that its cordage just, you know, weaved together. So you can go real micro. It's strong enough to be used as a tool. I'm thinking um, defensive tools right here good stuff so let's go ahead and hide this in something i've got my inner strand of paracord i'm going to go ahead and burn the end ever so slightly so it doesn't untangle remember there's two little pieces that make up this strand i don't want it coming apart on me you can see the difference in the color between the strand that i rubbed in the dirt and the original it's extremely white what i do is i take all this strand and i get some writ dye that dyes nylon. Remember, this is nylon. I sit it in there, soak it, let it take on the dye. I'll use whatever color I'm trying to hide in. So for this hat, you know, that's a dark green. If it's on multicam, maybe it'd be a desert camo, but it will accept the dye. Just make sure that it's writ dye that dyes nylon. I wanted to talk to you about subscriptions. Now, if you dig my content, you want to see more of it, you subscribing, sharing, liking, whatever it is you do on YouTube helps out the channel, helps me out, so I appreciate it. Now hiding this cordage takes a lot of patience. I'm showing you real down and dirty quick just to get you motivated, okay? So here I begin, put a dab of glue here. Okay, moment of truth, I'm cuffed up. I'm stuffed over in a corner somewhere. I'm waiting for my opportunity when someone's not paying attention to me. Maybe the guard walks away. I know that my little pull is above my right ear. So obviously, real slowly, I'm gonna get that hat off as best I can. And I'm gonna start working on it. Real nonchalantly. I'm just gonna start pulling on that rope. Say that took me four hours to get it out. Well, it's out. Now it's in my hands. So I can slowly start to make a weapon. Rope, string, is an extremely powerful weapon. You can see what I'm going for here. See this? So if I can get this spaced out just enough, this could give me the chance to get this around an enemy's throat and tap them out. Okay, here we're gonna use a sail needle, which is just a big sewing needle, okay? 
and we're going to put our cordage through it and then come back here on the end and tie an overhand knot. So we're literally just going to take this and sew it into this brim. So I've finished stitching. You can see I tried to keep it uniform. See the pattern? Three, 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 all the way around. Again, this is white, so we can see it. But if I got that moment, I can come. Nothing's tied down. So I can find that last piece and slowly begin to work my way around the hat and pull this cordage out. See that? It's going to take time and patience, but at least I know it's in there. Okay. Little by little, you know, you're going to have time on your hands, literally. So I could weave that out. And at the end, I'll have six feet of cordage that I can use. Here's the cordage after it's been run through the dirt a little bit. So you can get an idea. A little less obvious. Once it's dyed, it'll be way less obvious. But again, you got six feet of cordage on you. Better than nothing. Well, there you go. That's six foot of cordage that can be used for escape, defense, whatever you need it for. It's going to take some time and patience. Those are just two ways that you can do it. The hot glue gun and then stitching it in. Lots of patience, but it's worth it. Remember, you're going to want to dye this so it's the color of the material that you're trying to hide it in. There's a million different ways to do it. These are just two examples to get you thinking, right? Think about all this stuff. It's good. Good skills to have. Next up, I'm going to show you how to do it on your shirt. We're going to do it on a pant by removing a button and then sewing that button on using this cordage. And I'll show you a way to do it in your shoe. Hangs up.